Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, install and enable WSL2 on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, you can click on this search icon. So just search for turn Windows features on and off. And here you will be able to see this uh, result which says turn windows features on or off so just click on this and it's going to open uh, this kind of window which is going to show you some windows features which are enabled on your windows operating system and it's also going to show you some features which are you can enable on your windows operating system so once uh, this window opens what you need to do is you can scroll down here and search for windows machine platform and you need to search for windows subsystem for linux so uh, wsl stands for windows subsystem for linux so you need to enable these two uh, features so just select virtual machine platform and select windows subsystem for linux and then just click on ok which is going to search for required files and it's going to apply all the changes and once you are done with all these changes, you need to restart your Windows operating system. So it says restart now. Yes, I can restart my Windows operating system right away. Now, once your uh, Windows operating system restarts, you can open a command prompt. So just search for CMD and then open the command prompt. And once command prompt opens, you can uh, write this command to check if uh, WSL is installed on your system or not, just write WSL and then you can either write, for example, hyphen hyphen status here and then press enter. And it's going to show you the status, which uh, is the default version for WSL, which is enabled on your system and the other information. If you want to update the WSL, you can just write WSL update, which is going to update uh, the WSL on your Windows operating system. Also, when you open the Microsoft Store, let me just open the Microsoft Store right now. You will be able to search on the Microsoft some Linux distribution, for example, Ubuntu here. And you can see all the Ubuntu related distributions which are available uh, in the Microsoft Store which you can install on your Windows 11 operating system. And these subsystems are going to run on your Windows operating system and you can use them inside your Windows operating system. Now, if in case when you give this status command and if it shows the version one instead of version two, so default version is right now two in my case. But if it shows version one, that means WSL one is uh, enabled and you need to set the version two as a default version in order to use WSL2 on your Windows operating system. So for that, the command is this one, which is WSL hyphen hyphen set hyphen default hyphen version. And if you want to set it to one, which is the WSL one version, then write one here. Otherwise, if you want to set it to two, just write two here. So let me just set it to one and we will check the status again. And you can see it's version one. And if you want to set it to two, which in our case we require in order to set the WSL two version as the default, then you need this command once again, which is WSL uh, hyphen hyphen set hyphen default hyphen version two and this is going to set the default version as wsl2 on your windows operating system and that is what you want so you have to make sure that this version is set to two so that's how you can uh, install wsl2 on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video